Buffalo is going to win it. The Bills make it a Kick your heels up and shout. Let's see why the Buffalo Bills are in route to the playoffs. Come on now, the Bills are making it happen now. Stand up now, come on and shout. The Buffalo Bills go on to see it. Now we're going to the Super Bowl, yeah. Now, baby, Come on, come on. No one come on, circles the wagon shout. like the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. All right, all right, and we are live. We are live, and we are back with another edition of Overdue Bills Podcast. And I know y'all see it. I know y'all see it. We got a special guest. We got a special guest. But let me introduce the show. Let me introduce my people. I got my man Matt with me, um, aka Matty Ice, aka Matt COVID, aka Matt the Scammer. <laughs> Matt, say what up with yeah. the people, baby. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. What's up? Absolutely, absolutely. And our guy, you know, all purpose rat. He can do pretty much it all, y'all. You know what it is. Yes, sir. I'm happy to be here, bro. We division champs. Ready to pod, man. Ready to pod. Let's go. Absolutely. And Matt, can you do me a quick favor? Just a quick favor. Mm -hmm. Can you just introduce our sponsor real quick before we get into the nitty gritty? Yeah, you know, we got to take care of business. Uh, you know, this podcast is sponsored by Buffalo Wing Kings. Uh, two things that the dudes here at Overdue Bills Podcast know that's, that's wings and that's the Buffalo Bills, man. Uh, Buffalo Wing Kings, they're uh, located at 484 Elmwood Avenue. They got two locations opening up by January 2021. Uh, one in the University District, I mean, yeah, University District on Main, and the other one in the Black Rock Riverside area on Niagara Street. Uh, give them a call now. They can they can handle any wing needs you do have. We want you for a game. You got some a graduation. Any anything you guys got going on coming up, they got you. Give them a call at 716 248 Okay, 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 okay. Let me do this for the people. We're trying to get this all set up, all square. So let me just play this little clip for y'all. All right, y'all see it. Y'all see the pick. Y'all see the pick. Y'all see the pick. And we have special guest, our guy, Jaquan Johnson from the Buffalo Bills. What's up, bro? How you doing? I know, man. I'm feeling good. Y'all know I'm feeling good after that win we got just this weekend. Absolutely, man. We Listen, we really appreciate you being on, man. We really appreciate your time. And listen, we just want to get right into it. He graced us with his presence. And um, we got a couple questions for you. You know, nothing crazy. So, Matt, man, you said you wanted to start off with the questions. Uh, Matt, man, talk, talk to our man. What you want to ask him? Daquan, you know, we, we know you're a Miami dude. You went to the U. Uh, you know, we, we have a connection. We have a small connection to a guy that, you know, has probably been a big influence, influence on you and Ed Reed. Uh, what's, what's that like, man, to have you – know, that kind of guy in like your back pocket, being a young player, being able to call and, you know, get some tips and learn from him. And then also what's it like being in that safety room with guys that, are, that have been all pros before and guys that bring it every week and, you know, Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer. Give, give us a little bit of insight on that, man. I mean, you know, just going back to uh, Miami, uh, you know, Ed Reed, he was always around on campus, mm -hmm. uh, you know, coaching us up. And uh, I was able to develop a relationship with him. I can hit him up whenever, uh, yep. pick his brain, ask him, you know, how he doing. He asks me how I'm doing, how the fam. So, you know, it's just like a, you know, it's like a player-coach relationship, but beyond that, basically, yeah. uh, with him. And, uh, you know, everybody know he's a Hall of Famer. And he arguably one of the best uh, safeties to ever play the game. So, I mean, just to have him in my back pocket, that's everything. You know, that, that's for an sure. advantage for me. Uh, I definitely take advantage, too, most of the times. So. Uh, whenever I need uh, to pick his brain. So he, he helped me with a lot of things uh, on the field as well. Uh, being in that room with uh, Jordan Boyer and Micah Hyde, though, that's that's a whole nother uh, animal. You know, those guys, their approach uh, today, like uh, business, uh, everything they do is routine. They tell me uh, develop a routine, uh, stick to your routine, and believe in, 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 believe in, in, believe in uh, your process. And uh, that's what I do uh, majority of the time. Yeah. 
No, that's that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Right. How, how, what's up, man? I know you listen. We had this set up. Right. What you got for him? Um, I want to talk about just the overall season because y'all 11. We we 11 to three now. Um, I just want to just go into because, you know, we didn't have no off season. Everything was different. It was, a you know, pandemic, COVID. Um, so we 11 and three. Um, like how confident were y'all going into the season with this, you know, this, you know, condensed season and, you know, and talk about where we at now. Did y'all, this, this, this was y'all predicted. What's, what was the goals and, and how many goals did y'all hit so far? Uh, well, going into the season, uh, with the pandemic, once it hit, uh, you know, that was, uh, serious. So, uh, we, we took that with a grand assault. So we didn't, uh, overlook it or forget about it. But, uh, the Coach uh, Sean McDermott, he told us, like, the team that comes out of this together and the strongest would be the team uh, in the end going to the playoffs and uh, winning their division. And uh, we believed in what he told us. Uh, we stuck to everything that uh, we were supposed to. We stayed on track. We didn't get distracted, even though, you know, there's something you could get distracted by with the pandemic. But uh, we was able to stay focused. Uh, you know, some players opt out. Some players decided to play. Mm. And uh, here we are now, sitting at eleven and three. Uh, mm. Our goal is yeah. our goal, the main goal is uh, you know we want to get to the dance. So uh, we take it one game at a time. Uh, uh, our defensive coordinator, Coach Frazier, he, he asks us every game, uh, "What's the biggest game of the season?" And we always everybody respond this game because mm. it's the next one. And uh, that's that's our mindset. Absolutely. I I I, I know we we talking about team, but can I ask you this? Um, because. For me, it's like, you know, looking at, you know, these NFL players such as yourself, right? You in high school, you're all American, right? You know what I'm saying? You get to Miami, like you you top in the ACC at your position. And it's like you get to the league and you know what I'm saying? Like success will come, right? But sometimes it's just, it takes, it, it may take a longer time to get there than maybe it did in high school, than maybe it did in college. So like, how how does that feel for you? Because you know, you know, you hear these things all the time. Like, you know, these players, you know, they have you know everything kind of you know kind of handed to them in in like high school. You know, he was a star. College, you know, he went to the U. You know, he wearing a, the turnover chain. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he, he 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 the top dog. But then you get to the Bills. It's like okay, it's it's a little bit different. You do got a Michael Hyde. You do got a Jor Jordan Poyer. You know what I'm saying? So like, how was that transition for you? I mean, the transition. Uh... You know, it was kind of difficult, but I dealt with this similar at Miami when mm. I was a freshman and a sophomore. Uh, I, I had some seniors in front of me, and I didn't get uh, as much play time. So, you know, I bought my way uh, special teams, doing whatever I needed to do to get on the field. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. You know, I'm not uh, yeah. I'm not down or anything about it because I'm I'm learning. I'm, I'm soaking everything up like a sponge and just preparing for my moment. Uh, I approach the day like I'm a starter. Because you never know. I'm uh, one play away and I uh, don't want no drop off when I do go in. So, you know, I'm preparing yeah. like I'm a starter. And uh, it's, 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 it's sometimes it can be difficult uh, for uh, the young kids or anybody in, in my position where they were starters all their life and then they get to the league and it's not uh, going that way. But that's when uh, your grit, your toughness come in and, and yeah. you know, your, your mentality. You know, you if you, mm -hmm. if you know who you are, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Your chance gonna come. Facts. Now, um, no, no. let me ask you. We got we got some rapid fire questions. We gonna get to some fun, but let me ask you this real quick because the people want to know. Um, just when, when you see, you know, after the Denver game and it was all over the local news and things like that, the Bills fans um coming to the airport to you know cheer you know our fans, or even though we can't be there during the games right now, like is it similar to? what you've seen at the U, like that fandom, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I I know it's crazy down there. It got to be crazy. Right. Like, is it right. is it is it similar to that, or is it like is it something different? Uh, uh you know, no, no disrespect to Miami. You know, they we always yes. brought our uh our fan base, especially that 2017 year uh, when we were 10 and three, mm -hmm. three in the nation. Uh, it was it was uh un unbelievable. But yeah. it seemed like last year, like regular games. <laughs> we're like every game at UM and we were zero oh and oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we were ten, when we were nine and oh, we had that same type of uh uh type of fan base at Buffalo. Like mm -hmm. like like we were like nine and oh and we were like, you know, five and one or something like that. So I mean yeah. the fan base in Buffalo is a whole different animal. Uh I mm -hmm. think we got the best fan base 
uh, in the NFL. And uh, I hope, I really hope that we get to have some fans uh, in the stands for the playoffs. Yeah, me too. Me too. Being a season ticket holder, I'm definitely hoping we can be there for sure. Hopefully. I've been yeah. dying. <laughs> Come on, Uncle Cuomo. We're going to be there. Yeah. 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 We're going we gonna to jump the fence. We might jump the fence. Or man. The fact. We're going to be there, bro. We got to do it. We got to do it, man. Whatever need to be done. Listen. Yeah, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you, you heard it. You heard it here first. You, yeah. Whatever needs to get done, they co sign it. Listen. <laughs> Quan, listen, we, we definitely appreciate your time, but we want to get a couple rapid fire questions in for you. I just want to throw some. I know y'all, listen, it, it's a lot of fans in the comments right now. They asking questions. We listen, we can't get everything in, but we want to get some rapid fire questions in there. So let me ask you this just real quickly. All right, I'm gonna just throw it's about five questions. I'm gonna just throw at you. All right. Okay. okay number one, flats or drums? Okay, I'm with you. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> shout, shout out, shout out to Buffalo Wing Kings. But um, <laughs> Kodak or Lil Baby? Kodak. Oh, uh, we knew it. We knew it. I'm really from the crib. I hear you. He loyal. I'm really from the crib. I hear you. I hear you. I, I don't listen. Somebody threw this in there. I ain't gonna say who, but it might be Rad down there. But uh. I, 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 we don't know if you partake in the spirits, but if you do, Henny or Patron? If you don't, don't. If I if I had to, I'd go Henny. Oh, okay. I hear you. <laughs> Hen dog. Okay. Dog, okay. Yeah. That dog. dog. All right. That dog. So let me. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. I'll, listen, we don't know if you partake in the nightlife down there, but King of Diamond or Live? AOD. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay. Let me just say this. I, well, I listen. We are gonna move on. But uh, <laughs> listen, we listen. So, so real quick. You, you used to wrestle when you was in high school? Uh no, I wrestled like in the county. So that was like towards middle school. I, I didn't oh. actually wrestle in high school. Okay, okay. We looked at. We listen. We was listen. So I don't know if you watched wrestling when you was growing up, but Undertaker or Stone Cold? I'm going Undertaker. I'm with you. Right. He dark, y'all. Yeah, yeah. You heard it. He dark, <laughs> y'all. Okay. We, 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 we about to let you out. We about to let you out. But let me ask you this one quick. It's, it's the pandemic. It is the pandemic. And I know, um, I mean, obviously, um, no, look, we love Buffalo. But but there is a difference between Buffalo and Miami. And I know, you, I, I don't know, like, the regulations. Y'all can't get out as much. But, like, what are you doing in your free time? Is it like are, are you um you you play the game? Is you just watching Netflix? Like what what what's what's going on? I mean, for the most part, after I come home, I you know go to work, you know, film study and things of that nature. After that, I'm tired. playing with my daughter. I got a one year old daughter. Shout out, okay. Shout I'm, out. And then I'm on the, and then I'm on the game. Well, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, bro. okay on, but, on the duty. Hold on, get a second. Yeah. So you, PlayStation or Xbox? Dose. What is you? PlayStation. Okay, PlayStation. Oh, that's, that's, yep. But but that's, you on the duty, yeah, yeah. right? I'm, I'm on the duty. That's sure. cross generation. That's cross all platform. Okay, can you drop your your gamer tag for the fans? Uh, Is it uh, uh, PSN authentic underscore Q? You, you heard it. Authentic you under to, PSN you're, you're authentic underscore. About to go crazy right now. <laughs> for sure. To go crazy right Listen, now. you heard <laughs> you heard him. He said he nice in the duty. You I know what I'm really saying? Really like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> listen, listen. Bills Mafia. I'm about to get on after this. Yeah. I'm about to get on after this. Don't do him too bad, Bills Mafia. Don't do him too bad. We we gonna we gonna we gonna put the gamer tag on the Facebook page on all you know what I'm saying, all our platforms, Twitter, so you can hit him up, play him in that duty, and you know what I mean, show him how Buffalo roll. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> y'all got any questions for Quan? Any more? Uh Nah, man, I think, you know, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, man. Just appreciate you getting on. Let's keep it going forward, you know. Uh, let's let's get let's get that ring. That's, what, year, that's what we all you want. Yeah, that's you what we want. It, man, get, this is our year, man. man this, we, is, this is all crazy to us coming in. You know, every, every week is just like you, we can't believe it. You know, we, we can believe it, but it's just, you know, it's here. Right. And, you know, we're, we're one step closer. So just keep it going, man. We definitely, man, definitely appreciate your time, man. And, um fans they they loving this man they in the comments they appreciate it too so man thank you man no doubt appreciate it thanks for having me okay all right man all right, all right bro. bro have a good one you too